Hi all, um, it's uh, Sunday, uh, 10th of May, um, I'm in my Mantle Town top um, and having seen some of the videos and uh, that have been made for you, I thought I would have a little go. I'm going to read you, um, this is uh, Charles Causley's Figgy Hobbin. Charles Causley was a poet and teacher from Cornwall, in fact he taught in the school that he went to as a child uh, and um, only ever lived and worked uh, in Launceston in Cornwall, although he did his teacher training in Peterborough. So this is Colonel Fazakerley. Um, he wrote some wonderful poems. One was called Timothy Winters, but this is uh, my favourite because I remember it as a child and then I started using it when I was a, a young teacher. Uh, so I thought I'd read it to you. So here we go. Colonel Fazakerley. Colonel Fazakerley Butterworth Toast bought an old castle complete with a ghost. But someone or other forgot to declare to Colonel Fazak that the spectre was there. On the very first evening, while waiting to dine, the Colonel was taking a fine sherry wine, when the ghost, with a furious flash and a flare, shot out of the chimney and shivered, Beware! Colonel Fazakley put down his glass and said, My dear fellow, that's really first class. I just can't conceive how you do it all. Imagine you're going to a fancy dress ball. At this... The dread ghost gave a withering cry. Said the colonel, his monocle firm in his eye. Now, just how do you do it? I wish I could think. Now, do sit down and tell me, and please, have a drink. The ghost in his phosphorus cloak gave a roar and floated about between ceiling and floor. He walked through a wall, returned through a pane, and backed up the chimney and came down again. Said the colonel, with laughter I'm feeling quite weak, as trickles of merriment ran down his cheek. My housewarming party, I hope you won't spurn. You must come, you'll say you'll come, and you'll give us a turn. At this, the poor spectre, quite out of his wits, proceeded to shake himself almost to bits. He rattled his chains, he clattered his bones, and he filled the whole castle with mumbles and moans. But Colonel Fazakerley, just as before, was simply delighted and called out, Encore! At which the ghost vanished his efforts in vain, and never was seen at the castle again. Oh dear, what a pity, said Colonel Fazak. I don't know his name, so I can't call him back. And then, with a smile that was hard to define, Colonel Fazakerley went in to dine. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll find some more for you, some more poems that I hope you'll love. Stay safe.